All right, that is super neato. All right, so that took three minutes. That is amazing. Um, I haven't done anything with the OG Xboxes in a few years. Um, I periodically read up whenever I don't have any other random stuff to do. Uh, this is the first exploit that I'm aware of for the OG Xbox that does not require an exploitable game. Which wasn't a big deal, and that's actually kind of fun. Uh, there's a, a buttload of videos on YouTube already showing you how to use the exploit games. And it's it's fun. Part of the fun is chasing down and getting the right revision of the game and following the, the steps and everything. But as the OG Xboxes age, one of the first thing that happens to them, if you're lucky enough that your capacitors don't leak, <clears throat> and there's... A whole bunch of tips and tricks on how to remove those properly um, is that the, the DVD drive will stop reliably reading discs and I have had some Xboxes that were just really weird where they would only run a particular uh, one of the exploitable games and not the others so the traditional soft mod, soft mod methods excuse me are getting more and more challenging this is awesome. There's still the challenge of getting the exploit files and the, the Rocky Five soft mod installer onto media that you can read. I'm not going to get into that because there's other people that have already beaten this horse to death. But this is neato. Super, super neato. Um, I think this is probably the last retail OG Xbox that I had in storage. I just haven't really been playing with them that much. Uh, I mean, they are cool, of course. But So to recap, this is super neato. If you have an OG Xbox, maybe you've never soft-modded one before and you're interested, this is the way to go. Or what if you have one and you've been inhibited by the fact that your DVD drive has failed? Your system will boot, but it won't read anything. This will at least get you to the point where you can soft mod it. For most people, soft modding alone isn't that useful. Uh, the soft modding is the initial step to get the EEPROM code off, which you can then use to build a bigger hard drive. And that's what most people do. Um, but even if you don't do that, soft modding will at least let you 
relive some of the glory days, even if you don't have a bigger hard drive so you can't play the ripped games, you can still boot up XBMC and, and some of that stuff, or turn it into an emulation machine. There's a lot of really neat emulators for the OG Xbox. But anyway, there you go. Uh, my first attempt at soft modding an OG Xbox with Rocky V's version 1.21 soft mod installer triggered by the end game exploit that does not require an exploitable game.